hi everyone so let's study today about the working operation of the d latch which is also called the data latch or the transparent latch all right why it's called the transparent or the data latch because whatever the value of the input d is present is transferred at the output side so this is called the transparent latch fine why we need to design this transparent latch one way actually to eliminate the undesirable condition of the indeterminate state in the SR latch is to ensure that inputs S and R are never equal to 1 at the same time. Why? Because it sent R latch into the undefined or unpredictable state or metastable state which is actually of no use to us. Fine. So for avoiding both inputs to be equal to one we have actually used an inverter at this side so output or the input will always be the complement of each other fine so this latch has only two inputs one is the d input another one is the enable input and you can see the other input which which was actually in the SR latch was equal to R is actually now being inverted. So they both are never equal to 1. Fine. Let's see the working operation of this D latch. As long as the enable input is equal to 0. So when you will make enable input equal to 0. What will happen? Since this is the NAND gate. And the property of the NAND gate is that if any of its input is held at the logic level 0, it will force its output to be equal to 1. So these two NAND gates will produce output equal to 1. Hence, 1 and 1 over here. Let's see. The Q was equal to 0 and Q complement was equal to 1 previously. So if this was equal to 0, this 0 with 1 will produce the output equal to 1 and similarly this 1 with 1 produce output equal to 0. Hence no change, no matter whatever the value of the D input is, the next state actually remains unchanged or it retains its previous state. Fine. You can also write it as no change. Now, when you will switch enable equal to 1. So, making enable equal to 1 will activate this circuitry and now the change is made by the value D will be introduced at the output side. So, keep making enable equal to 1 and D is equal to 0 will make the output of this logic gate equal to 1 and since the inverter is present over here so this will be equal to 1 fine so 0 and 1 will produce output equal to 1 while 1 and one from the enable circuit or enable signal will make this input equal to zero fine you are having one at this point and zero at this point since the NAND gate is present and its one input is held at the logic level at zero it will produce output equal to one fine and this one is being fed over here and the one is present over here making output is equal to zero so whatever the value of the input d was right now has been transferred at the output side now let's change the output or the d input equal to one and let's see how it is transferred when you will make d is equal to 1 keeping enable is equal to 1 
when d is equal to 1 will give me output is equal to 0 since it's inverted so this input is held at the logic level 0 now will give the output of this NAND gate equal to 1 while the output of this NAND gate will be equal to 0 fine and this 0 will force the this NAND gate to produce output is equal to 1 this one will be fed over here and this one will combine and generate the output is equal to or quick q bar equal to 0 so the output q is equal to actually 1 in this case in this way the delay actually works